Hello. Over the next five minutes, yes, only five minutes, I'm going to share with you all how to be a more effective communicator online and off. In my day to day, I'm a digital storyteller. I craft and amplify messages online. It's my responsibility to share concise and concrete stories that make people engaged and interested. I provide impact through words. But before I get to sharing a message, there's something that I think about and something that I want to share with all of you. I actually ask myself, who cares? Have you gone online recently and read something and thought, hmm, who cares? Have you had a conversation recently and when you walked away thought to yourself, uh, you know, was that really relevant to me? My goal is to inspire everyone today and in the future to think more about who cares, where you're thinking about who's receiving your message and what it means to them, the care, before you communicate. Now, before I even get to who cares and sharing a message online where the world can read it, I have three key tools that I use to build great communication online and off. And the first thing that I do before I go about sharing a message, writing a story, or talking to someone, is I root myself in the passion of the message. Am I passionate about what I'm saying? Do I care about what I'm saying? Will other people care what I'm saying? When we're passionate about what we're sharing, saying, writing, people will feel and get inspired by what we're telling them. So once I've defined that I'm passionate about what I'm going to be saying or sharing or communicating, I think about the purpose. Why do I want to tell that story? What do I want people to do with that information once they receive it? When my passion aligns with my purpose, I become a better communicator. I think we can all tell when someone has a purpose or an agenda when they share a message online. Sometimes it's not one you doesn't necessarily agree with, but they are adamantly putting out how they feel and how they want you to feel when they share a message online or off. So what I realized in that process of receiving messages in all the forms that we have nowadays is the next step and the third tool to better communication is actually to take a pause, to take a moment to reflect on the message, to think before we share because we care about the receiver of that information. When we take a pause, we give ourselves a chance to reflect. Maybe we don't want to share that message in five minutes or in five days from now. When we're passionate, sometimes it's easy to amplify that message to the world with instant communication and instant outburst of something we feel in that moment. But if we step back and take a moment to really think about what the purpose of that message will be and if it actually needs to be shared to the world, we allow ourselves to be better communicators. So when passion and purpose blend and we take a pause, we become effective. We become more emotionally connected with our messages. And most of all, we leave a better legacy online and off. People start receiving our messages more thoroughly. They start remembering what it is we said because we're clear in our communication. We mean what we say, and we've genuinely thought about the outcome and how that will live forever once it's said or shared. So I share this with everyone today because I think it's important that we all take this pause and think about who cares. Are you releasing a song? Are you announcing a book? Are you running a charity? Are you running a marathon? What is it that you want to share with us and why should we care? Why does it matter and what should we be doing with that message? This works for verbal as well. Let's think before we speak. Let's pause before we share. Now, to be honest, those of you that know me well, I'm quite social and quite outgoing. So this isn't something that I necessarily have down pat, but I'm sharing it with you because we're all going to work on the who cares together. We are going to get better at the way we communicate with one another so that our legacy of communication, no matter what we share and say, is something that we're so proud of, something that we can live and stand by. Our future communication is set today. What we say and share today can be inspired and live on forever when our passion 
and our purpose. Take a pause before we share. Today, I want to leave you with this little jingle. Because we care, we pause before we share. So just think about your words having wings and the meaning that they leave in your legacy of life and in your communication style. Pause, reflect, and be positive. That will allow you to be a more effective and emotionally connected speaker, communicator, and contact in general. Thank you.